What's going on guys in the works media and happy new year to you all. I hope you all had a very safe and uh, enjoyable New Year's Eve. I know I did. It was very laid back, but we're playing some more Modern Warfare 3 and this is a game from the stream that I did on New Year's Eve right before I went out. And it was a very short stream, so if you missed it, not a big deal. It was only like an hour and a half, but I figured I'd stream a little bit before I peaced out for my New Year's festivities. And it was a good stream and I got this game and um, it's a really cool game actually because um it was very aggressive on my end, um, but yet it seemed like I was on top of my game, which is a very rare thing these days. But um, one thing I, I thought about while while on the stream, and I was like, you know, what are going to be my 2012 New Year's resolutions? And then somehow that kind of um, evolved into a commentary topic that I was thinking about, is my COD year res resolutions. Like, what do I expect from Modern Warfare 3 in 2012? Because it's going to be a pivotal couple months coming up here for uh, Modern Warfare 3. Um, it's going to either make or break Infinity Ward in my mind because this game has gotten a lot of negative um, press from both the competitive side of gaming, from the um, community in general, and just it seems like an overall opinion on Modern Warfare 3 is a little sour right now. Which um, a lot of people tend to think that my hating upon the game, you know, they criticize it as, you know, when I'm criticizing the game, they, they label it as hating. But no, guys. I'm criti constructively criticizing this game in order for it to get better. If no one ever criticized this game, you know, Call of Duty, you know, nobody ever nitpicked at little details, we would never get improvements. Um, that's what makes a community a community. That's what drives improvements on games. Um, criticisms are fine, guys. It's not always hating. I mean, there's a lot of things I hate about Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I will admit that. But there's a lot of things that it did right. And I think that 2012, they can do a lot of things to make this game better. Um, my first point on that is fix the spawns. I've been saying this for two months, fix the spawns. Um, I know they said that they're they're still working on it, but they need to get on it ASAP. Fix the spawns, you fix your game. <laughs> um, they, they have fixed the lag. I have noticed that the lag is a little bit better. Make sure that you do have theater mode off, though. Theater mode being off does actually help. I tested it just to see. Like, I played a couple games with it on. I played a couple games with it off. Um in the same lobby and it was a little bit of improvement now I want to point out that um, you do switch connections every time you play a new game even if you stay in the same lobby because you know they have some new migrating host things so I don't know if that was an issue or not so um, that could be why the connection felt a little bit better um, but DLC DLC in 2012 is coming we all know that DLC is going to be important for Modern Warfare 3 um, if they put out crappy DLC if they put out uh, DLC, the equivalent of Treyarch's last map pack, there's going to be problems. Now, Treyarch's really set the bar pretty high, in my opinion, on on DLC. A lot of the f the first two map packs were pretty good, in my opinion. Um, I was a little bit sour on them when they first came out, but they grew on me. You know, even Stadium, which I don't think plays well on Dom, is a good map. There's nothing wrong with uh, Stadium, um, but the last map pack was pretty bad. Um, it just wasn't really that good because they rehashed Cliffside, which is one of my favorite World at War maps, and it just didn't work. And I know that they're rehashing a lot of maps for this map pack. At least that's what the uh, the the rumor is. Is that a lot of the older maps that you know you know how we saw in Modern Warfare 2, they just straight up brought the maps back. Well, apparently for this, they might be rehashing those maps. No, know if that's totally accurate, but we will see. Um, I've always been a proponent that if they just brought back Modern Warfare 2 maps in this game, I would be fine. You know, normally I'm like, no, do not give me old maps. I want something new. I want to discover, you know, I want to feel a new map. Um, that's kind of creepy sounding. But, yeah, I, but Modern Warfare 2 maps were good, and I think that they would play well in this. Now, you may be a Modern Warfare 2 guy, and you're like, what are you talking about? I hate Modern Warfare 2 maps. Well, you know, they'd be, they are good in comparison to the maps that are in this game. Um, the maps in this game just aren't really that good. They're too small. They're too chaotic, and I know that's what they were going for, but... And uh, in hindsight, they really just didn't do a very good job of making maps. I mean, I know that they probably think that the maps are designed perfectly. Well, they're wrong. Um, they're just not that good. They're just flawed maps. There's too much junk. There's too much exploding barrels, too many exploding cars, too much clutter throughout the maps that make it hard to walk around, um, not to mention the spawns. So DLC could open up a lot of possibilities for Modern Warfare 3. You know, we could actually see some good maps. We could actu actually see... Um, a spawn patch, which would make this game pretty good in my eyes. I mean, it would probably be up there pretty high if they fix those two things, just because it plays solid. 
Um, the hit detection is pretty good when you have a good connection. So there's a lot of things Modern Warfare 3 did right. Um, you know, support killstreaks may be one of those things that I think that they may have done wrong, but there's no way we can change that. Um, so, you know, that's my cod to resolutions. You know, get some good DLC out, hopefully fix the spawns, and you've got a pretty good game. You know, you got a game that everyone can enjoy, and look forward to the next COD, which comes out at the year, the end of year 2012. So what are some things you guys might like to see in Black Ops 2? I'm just curious. What are your cod to resolutions? Um, what do you think that um, Call of Duty will offer us at the end of 2012? But, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my own New Year's resolution since we're on the topic, and mine... Um, I like to record what my resolutions are because I did this last year and I wanted to see if I stuck to it because I actually stuck to last year's plan, which was to um, to just get more active, um, to uh, to grow my channel, which I did tremendously. You know, um, I've been live streaming a lot and that's been helping a lot. Um, I've had a really good 2011. You know, I had a rough spurt during the summer, but things are back on track and hopefully I can keep my momentum going into 2012. But um, this year I want to I want to start eating more healthy again. I know that was similar to my last year was one. I want to eat more healthy. I want to um, to get more active. I want to get back on track with um, riding bikes because I am a really big mountain biker. That was something I used to do a lot, and I didn't do a lot of it this summer just because I had a, I was really busy. You know, I was working a lot, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to do a lot of mountain biking. So I'd like to get back in shape for uh, for this next spring for mountain biking because it's something that I really enjoy doing. And right now I'm just totally out of shape. So uh, that's my New Year's resolution. Um, wonder what, what are you guys' I mean. I know I asked you what your uh, 2012 COD expectations were, but what are your New Year's resolutions? Uh, but here's two videos you guys might have missed early in the week. I did put a, a Modern Warfare 3 kill confirm video out, which shows you my best kill confirm setup, what I consider the best um, streaks to run, the best kit to run, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the second video is a video that I'm really excited about that a lot of people didn't see because it didn't publish right, but it's my Battlefield 3 mission troll face video where I run around trolling snipers, trolling tanks with C4s, Jeeps, um, it's pretty good. Check it out, guys, and I hope you had a good New Year, and I will see you guys next time.